So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week six. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the seasonal challenges for the week and Eververse. So that way, if you guys are away from your monitor or computer or TV, whatever it is, you guys have a general idea of what you guys can be doing when you guys get home. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's uh, get into it. So the first one, Into the Depths 6, complete the week six Into the Depths mission. This is the last mission and it is pretty good. You get a pretty cool cutscene and some idea of what next season is going to be. Frontline Salvager 6, open chest in deep dive activities, redeeming deep dive keys grants bonus progress. Additionally, defeat targets with void damage anywhere in the system. Gar Guardians grant increased progress. Uh, not hard, just do deep dives. I haven't been doing it just because I haven't been playing a lot, just because, well, I don't have to explain to you guys. The like, Destiny 2 community has been fucking imploding because uh, everything in the, like everything's just falling apart, unfortunately. Uh, under pressure, successfully complete a pressure trial encounter at any depth in deep dive activity. Additionally, defeat bosses and mini bosses in deep dive activities. I don't know what the fuck a pressure trial is. I think it's uh, the Tolan ball. You have to look, I think it's that if if the, if it is that, then it's not hard. You just have to make sure everyone does it. Um, the bosses and mini bosses, however, might be kind of annoying, depending on how many bosses or mini bosses there are. Uh, go big fish or go home. Uh, catch larger, bigger fish at any fish pond. Fish must be at least 18 kilograms to be considered large. I don't know how annoying this one's going to be. I haven't been fishing again. I haven't been playing, so I don't know if this one's going to be annoying or not. The deep end defeat opponents in crucible with auto rifles, hand cannons, scout rifles, glaives, or linear fusion rifles. Additional progress is granted for landing final blows with glaives, linear fusion rifles, and hand cannons that use special ammo um <clears throat> this one's not hard i i would most likely go for the linear fusion rifle rifles just because glaives are ass and there's only one hand cannon that takes special ammo so i would most likely just do the li linear fusion just because i feel like that one would be easier and then pair it with a scout rifle or not scout rifle well depending on the map i would probably pair it with either a scout rifle or a hand cannon and then for the heavy obviously a linear would probably be the best or the heavy glaive that we got either or uh, round and round we go generate orbs of power in vanguard gambit or crucible playlist i would most likely do this in either vanguard or gambit not crucible just because that'll be annoying and then boss battle defeat bosses in strikes or vanguard playlist this one's gonna be mad annoying uh, i'm probably just gonna run strikes for this one just to like turn my brain off and complete it and then absolutely stunning stun champions 50 champions this one's annoying let's actually go see what the nightfall is to see if we can just farm it at the beginning like I usually do when they have this one. So this one is going to be the moon psyops. Oof! I think there is a, a boss in the beginning of the psyop. Oh, wait, hold on. I just remembered with psyop psyops. This one is this one in the moon, moon, moon over here. Oh, speaking of the moon, uh, K1 logistics is where you can get the legend lost sector. And we're going to be using, we're going to be getting exotic arms. So if you're looking for an exotic arm, definitely go for that. Cause this is probably one of the more simpler lost sectors, but just be aware the boss, the boss fight will be annoying. So I, I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't set the moon, right? Well, either or, I would most likely go for the Nightfall and immediately just run to the first champion that I see and then just over and over hit him until it's done. Because it doesn't say defeat champions, it just says to stun them. So just stun the same one 50 times is what I would do. Or you can just play the game. You can literally just do the Nightfall, either or. And then for Eververse, I'm not sure. Okay, he, he shielded. It's a pretty cool shader like i'm not gonna lie and it also does a good job of hiding the glow for the chest piece because if you guys don't know the the ghost of the deep armor takes shaders really terribly you guys will see in some of the shaders we're, we're going to be looking at yeah the glow is actually changing the color of the armor for this one looks cool though uh red string of fate this is a good malfeasance ornament i definitely would pick this one up just because again it is really really cool and then this no i'm not gonna even look at it we have Whaler's Whim, which is a cool ornament for this one, just because it's not gold or has like really annoying ornaments. We have Powerful Statement, which is a very basic ornament, but it is cool. 
We have All Terrain Explorer, which I wouldn't even like. I would get this, but it's just why. We have Exotech Shell, which looks cool. We have Come At Me, which is. gonna get that that looks cool yeah we have quick cardio which is just my hunter running in a uh, thing and then for the shaders lucid is a cool shader i actually really like this shader especially if you combine it with like a hive themed guardian like my guardian looks right now the only unfortunate part is the cloth on the chest piece does not match the cloth on the cloak which is what i do what i'm trying to do for this look so not a good look for this shader golden age wine uh, same thing doesn't match and also the shit the glow is completely taking over everything so this is unfortunate but it is really cool same thing with this one yeah the chest piece is going to be really rough to combine with pieces i'll show you guys what the shader that i use for it but it's just very unfortunate <laughs> it, yeah although an atmospheric glow is a really good shader definitely pick it up it's a really good gl uh, green glow and then Temperature wash, which again doesn't match the, clo the cloak, which is unfortunate, but it's a good blue and white. Definitely pick it up. So that's pretty much it. As for how I wore my this, this is how I have it. Um, I'm using the Testudo shader just because it turns off the glow, and it, it kind of looks like the the cloth on the chest piece is connected to the cloak, which is why I have it like this because it looks really cool. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up. I am gonna be running this real quick because we got some cool stuff. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.